What's up fellas? Welcome back to another commentary video and I told you guys I will be doing these commentary videos until I run out of race footage. So here we go. Bang. Just kidding. Bang. <laughs> Okay, we're off with the 1600 meters at CIF finals, um, the San Diego section. This is in 2013. So wow, that's almost six years ago. That feels like just yesterday because I remember this race so distinctly in my brain. Um, okay, so this is the finals before the state meet. So this is the state meet qualifier. This is the biggest meet probably in the San Diego section um, all year. So it's a pretty big deal. Um, as you can see, I am in the middle of the pack. I really don't know what my race strategy was here. I think it was more of just like a sit and see what happens. I guess I didn't want to take it from the gun for some reason. I don't know. We have a couple teammates in here too. So we have my sister who is right beside me there, Ellie. What's up? And then we also have Kelly who is right in front of me. And she also, she did run a 448 at this time. So she was also really good. So there's some good competition in this race. We also had a couple other girls from... Um, different schools that were in the mix as you can see everyone's still together so it was a pretty good field and let's see what our first lap split is coming up here because I actually don't remember I just remember the end of this race so distinctly and I am coming up on the outside which is a weird positioning but whatever all right we go through the first lap in like 116 I believe so at this point I had already run 451 was my best time so that's not a very fast pace especially for a first lap um, I don't really, my strategy seems very weird. I guess I was just hoping someone else would take the lead so I didn't have to do all the work. And now you can't see us because people are walking in front of the camera. Um, okay, here we are. As you can see, our beautiful, absolutely beautiful tan uniforms. Don't you guys just love them? <laughs> They're supposed to be gold, but they just look tan. But we're all leading the race. That's kind of epic right there. A little epic shot of the teammates. Um, okay, so... Now that's 157-ish, 156 maybe. Again, that's really not that fast. That's like 80 seconds per lap pace that we're going now. So that's, I really don't know what we're going for here. But the Mavericks are leading the charge. So we'll kind of see what ends up happening here. As you can see, we're all still together, which is kind of scary because you never know what can happen in a race like this. Like the sprinters definitely... Or the people that are better at sprinting definitely have the advantage because it's so slow, so then they can just sprint. Okay, so it looks like we have a girl on the outside who is starting to pick up the pace. We went through in about 2.32, I believe. So not that, that's 5.04 pace, you know, that's not, that's not 4.50 pace, you know, what we're used to running. So this is slow, as you can see. That's why everyone is still together in this pack and people are running four wide right here. <laughs> scary and I mean it's a pretty big deal to win like a CIF title in your city in California so everyone wants to win this race you know it's not just like a qualifying race like people want to win and also I remember this was the day of prom so I was pretty eager to get out of there as fast as I could um so I could go you know rush rush off to my prom party um so you know just a little extra encouragement to run a little faster in this race Absolutely kidding, because I remember I had to run the 3200 later this day anyways, so it really did not matter how fast I ran, because I was still going to be late for my prom photos. <laughs> Sorry, date. Okay, that's so besides the point. Okay, here we go. We're going into the final lap. Things have strung out a little bit, and it's getting heated. As you can see, it's still Kelly, Lei, and then we've got another girl on the side. There's a couple more people that are, you know, hanging on, and let's go into the final lap. Here we go. What's going to happen? I don't know. Actually, I do remember distinctly what happens. Okay, it looks like I am being my aggressive self, which, but didn't make that hard of a move, but hard enough to where, you know, a couple people are more stringing off of the pack, but there's still people hanging on, including my teammates and Ellie, so what up? And let's see, I am... My, it's so funny to watch my leg speed now because I felt like I was going so fast, but I think my turnover got a lot better in college. Anyways, here we, here I am trying to string it out a little bit more. We've got the three Mavs. we got another girl on the side here, another girl still hanging on. So let's finish strong. Here we go. At this point, I was like, okay, I'm winning this. I am winning this. I was determined. I was like, yes, here we go. And then I just, I felt like I had strung it out pretty well. I was like, all right, here we go. Here we go. And then all of a sudden... At this moment, I was like, okay, okay, I'm going to win. And then I heard, oh, and I was like, oh, no. And then at this moment, I was like, oh, and then this, I okay, I have to pause it. 
Okay, this is literally live of me currently commentating this video, but I just want to say this part of the race, like I will remember forever. This was the only time where while I was being out sprinted, I did not give up. And you know, when someone out sprints you at the end, you don't really see people like match their speed, you know? And for me personally, when I get out sprinted, I've been out sprinted multiple times, so many times in my life. And at that point, you're pretty much defeated. But it's so hard to latch onto their speed if someone's out sprinting you and you beat them. And I remember in this race, I was so incredibly determined to win CIF that this girl came sprinting beside me as the entire crowd was going, Aah! and I was like, oh no. And I like didn't look back because also don't look back in a race. It doesn't help. I didn't look back, but I could just feel her presence and also hear the crowd like doing that noise. And so I knew that she was um, about to pass me. And at that point I had to make the decision like, do I want to lose CIF or do I want to try to match this girl's speed and win it? And at this point I was like, okay, well, I don't want to embarrass myself. So I decided to match her speed. And what I was thinking in the middle of the race is I was thinking it as she was passing me, I was like, okay, Emma, just like, when I was sprinting to the finish, I thought that was the maximum sprint I could do. And then this girl tried to pass me, and then I realized, no, I can go faster. And so what I was thinking, as she passed me, I was like, okay, Emma, there's no way that if you match her speed, she's going to be able to continue that speed through the finish line. You know, she started to kick a while ago. I just was so determined. I was like, I am not giving up. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't. The worst that could happen was that we coat, but that we go to the finish line and we come at it a tie, you know, and I lose by a little bit. But I was not giving up. I had a feeling that if I matched her speed, it would catch her off guard and she would give up. And because I know that if that happened to me, I would give up. If someone I was trying to pass match my speed, I would give up. Anyways, I don't even know if that made sense. Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> I have never felt so much more relief in my life, to say the least, but that was a very memorable race because I've never done anything like that before that and since that. Like, it was just very distinct in my brain forever so just know you know when you're getting out sprinted at the end it's not the end of the world and you can really come back from it if you just believe and it was so mental that's the thing it wasn't physical at all clearly I could have gone faster running down the home spray even though I thought I was sprinting faster but when she passed me I took it to another gear because in my my brain switched to the other gear when she passed me I guess I don't even know if that made sense but so the next time you guys are getting out sprinted, I really hope that you, you know, match their speed because you never know what can happen and don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Also, here's a really funny picture from the end of the race that I thought was hilarious. <laughs> getting ready for prom, but we have a race at 4.01.